Hello friends, this video on principles of inheritance part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are Mend introduction, Mendel's laws of inheritance, inheritance of one gene, inheritance of two genes, sex determination, mutation and genetic disorders. So, have you ever thought of that why do we look so similar to our parents or why do we look similar to our sisters and brothers? Yes, exactly. That is what we are going to talk about in this lesson. We will see that why is it that we resemble our parents. So, it is generally seen that uh, some of our features resemble our mom, some of our features resemble our dad. But it is not necessary that all our features have to match either with mom or dad. We even see some new features which, which, uh, which was neither present in our mom or dad. Right? For example, here you can see a family where a couple and two of their kids have been shown. So here if you see that this boy, the first boy has got brown hair. Right? This boy has brown hair, so which we see that he has inherited from his mother. So the mother also has brown hair. So this boy has brown hair. If you look at the other boy, he has got black hair. That's because he has inherited it from the father who has black hair. Similarly, if you look at the color of the eyes, you will see that this boy has got blue eyes. But if you see, none of them has got blue eyes. Both the moms and the dad, both of them have brown eyes, right? So they do not have blue eyes. So blue eye is something which is a new character which is seen in the kid. So it was not present in the immediate parents, but it is a new character which is seen. Now, another interesting thing which you will notice is it is not only the immediate parents whom a kid resemble, the kid also resembles to his ancestors. For example, the kid might resemble his grandfather or grandmother. The kid can also resemble his great grandfather. So. So the traits, it is not necessary that they have to come from the immediate uh, parents. They can also come from the ancestors. So this is where we talk about heredity. So where we talk, I mean, the word inheritance, what does that mean? Passing on of something from one generation to next, next generation. So when we talk about heredity, we will talk about how the characters or traits are being passed on from one generation to the other generation. So what is heredity? It is passing of traits from parents or ancestors to offsprings. Now when I say parents, that is why I have written parents or ancestors. Because as I said, it is not necessary that you get a feature only from your parents. You can get it from your grandparents as well. So it is like the traits or the characteristics or the features are getting passed on from one generation to the other generation. Now this is very interesting that how the traits are being passed on because we already saw the process, we have already understood the process of sexual reproduction in human beings. So we actually know that how new generations are being produced. Now the question is in that process of reproduction where exactly these traits are being passed on to the next generation. So that is what we will study in detail in this lesson. Now the first thing that would come to your mind when you talk about heredity is one very common thing that you would have seen is the basic body design and the structure has to resemble the parents. For example, if you talk about an elephant. Now, the baby of an elephant always looks like an elephant, right? I mean, the baby of an elephant doesn't look like a giraffe, correct? Why? That's because the basic body design and the structure it, it has to resemble the parents. Similarly, um, a human baby looks like a human being. Right? So, because the basic design has to be the same and that is why different animals give birth to their young ones and their young ones exactly resemble their those kind of animals at least in their basic structure and design. So, it is not only about animals, it is also about plants. You would have observed, right? If you take a, say, a rose plant and if you take another plant, say, for example, lily. Now, the leaves of a rose plant doesn't look exactly similar to that of a lily. So, if, if you actually try, if you are actually trying to reproduce more and more rose plants, so it will give birth to the same type of plant. So, the basic structure will remain the same. Now, does that mean that all the babies of elephants, all different elephants, they will all look exactly similar or they will be like exact clones? 
Well, that is not the case. That's because in sexual reproduction, uh, the offsprings which are being produced, they are not always exactly identical to each other because they are being produced by different organisms. Now, when you talk about the characteristics, we will see how they get transmitted and that is why we see a lot of changes in the new organism, a lot of variations and that is why you can always distinguish between two organisms of the same species. For example, if you talk about elephants, for people like us, we might feel that okay, all the elephants look exactly the same. But actually, there is some other, other differences between them as well. For example, let us talk about human beings. That will be easier for you to understand. Now, when you look at yourself, so you might look very similar to your dad or you might look very similar to your brother. But in most of the cases, you do not look exactly a clone copy. There is some difference, right? People are able to identify you and your dad as separate individuals. That means there are certain things which are different in both of you. However, in some cases, for example, in identical twins and all, you see more similarities and very less differences. But even in that case also, there might be some very minor differences which are observed only by the people who observe them very closely. Otherwise, they might look similar. But again, identical twins are also, uh, it is not a very common scenario. I mean, in most of the cases, you, uh, you look quite different from each other. And that is how we are able to distinguish different human beings. And why they look different? Because of their difference in characteristics. Now, each of them look similar to their family members. Right? For example, if you talk about this kid, now, this kid has inherited some of the traits from his father. So he looks quite similar to his father. But at the same time, he has inherited few traits from his mother as well. That is why he looks a little different from his father. But when you compare this kid with some other kid who belongs to a different family altogether, so they both might look like human beings because their basic body structure and design is the same. But their features are different because he is coming from a different background. This guy is coming from a different background. But if you compare the same guy with his own brother, so the similarities might be more because both of them share the same parents. So both of them are actually inheriting stuffs from the same source. So that means they might share more similarities. So this, that, that's about heredity. Here we will talk about how this traits are being passed on from one generation to other. So we'll talk about those principles, we'll talk about how it was discovered, what were the contribution done by the different scientists, how did they dis discover all these stuffs. And the study of heredity is known as genetics. So genetics is, very, uh, is a very promising field of um, study even today because a lot of things are yet to be known, yet to be discovered and a lot of scientists are still working on it. So genetics is a very challenging field. It talks, it, it only talks about heredity, that how traits are being passed on from one generation to other. Now here uh, we will talk about uh, quite a few topics of genetics. Now the next two lessons will also be on genetics so that you have some basic knowledge on genetics. Now when I talk about heredity, Many people think that heredity and inheritance both are like synonyms. Many people think like that because the inheritance, the word literally means to take on something which is being passed on from one generation to another. That is inheritance. Now, heredity, again, we say that it is inheritance of traits. So sometimes people are not able to understand if inheritance and heredity are really different. If yes, how are they different? So let me before we start with the lesson, let me clarify the difference between heredity and inheritance. Now, when I talk about heredity, I mean genetic transmission of traits from parents to offspring. So, heredity is only about transmission of traits or characteristics or features, whatever you call it. So, this transmission happens through genes. And where are genes present? Genes are present inside the cells of our body. So, where exactly inside the cells? Even you know that also inside the cell, our body is all made up of cells. Inside each cell, you have a nucleus. Inside the nucleus, you have a nucleolus. Inside that, you have the chromosomes. And inside the chromosomes, you have genes. And these genes carry information about various characteristics of that particular individual. So heredity will always mean the transmission of traits and they will, be, they will happen through genes. When you talk about inheritance, it is practice of passing on property, title, rights, debts, etc. from one generation to next. So inheritance is like, suppose, a prop. if you talk about property, 
let's suppose your great grandfather had uh, say five houses and two farmhouses and a lot of property so what happens when that person passes away all his property by default goes to his kids again when his kids pass away all the property goes on to their kids so basically by default the property keeps on passing from one generation to the other so that is known as inheritance now this doesn't happen only for property it also happens for title for example you would have seen that there might be some people who would have done some great work and they received a title for example say like some in some places different places give different sort of titles for example somewhere they say sir sir is like a title or a respect because you have done something good or something different than others so if you get a title by default it gets inherited to all your next generation so your kids also get that sir by default even though he has not done anything just because his ancestors had done a good thing again does that sir keeps on passing from one generation to the other so property title rights so these kind of things even the debts so if suppose if somebody has taken a loan and he passed away without paying it back so what will happen it will by default it will be passed on to his kids so even though his kids have not taken that loan but it it becomes their duty to clear it off because that debt by by default comes on their head so it becomes their responsibility to pay it back so so any sort of things which gets passed on from one generation to another that is known as inheritance but heredity occurs through inheritance of genes so when we talk about inheritance in terms of genes that means the characteristics which are present inside our body inside the genes present in our cells when they get carried off from one generation to another that is called heredity so biological inheritance is what is related to heredity so we can say that heredity is also a type of inheritance but when inheritance happens in the form of genes or genetic inheritance is heredity so not all sort of inheritance comes under heredity right so if if you talk about examples which which will show that okay this is heredity for example height let us suppose if you if you consider a family where the where the where the, where the person has got a very good height maybe he has a height of some 6 3 6 4 now his son also gets a very good height again his grandson also gets a very good height so height is the characteristic which is being passed on from one generation to other generation and how this inheritance is taking place through genes so this is an example of heredity right so it, it it is not only height it can be any other characteristic whether it is your complexion or your features maybe the shape of your eye the color of your eyeball it can be the shape of your lips so it can be anything anything that is related to your characteristic or features and inheritance is something which gets passed on Uh, they are all materialistic things, not necessarily, but mostly they are all those kind of things which get passed on to the next generation when the previous generation is passed. I mean, passes away. So that's how heredity is different from inheritance, and that is why we often define heredity as inherited biological inheritance. That is inheritance in terms of the biological characteristics. So let us look at some of the examples of heredity. so if you look at the different animals they they also pass on their traits or characteristics to their next generation so here if you look at all of them they all reproduce by sexual mode of reproduction so what happens inheritance from previous generation provides a common basic body design and that is why a baby elephant looks like an elephant a baby giraffe looks like a giraffe a baby human being looks like a human being because the basic body design is the same however there are subtle changes in it now these changes are seen more in case of sexual reproduction and they are very minimal in case of asexual reproduction that is why if you look at the lower organisms which reproduce asexually for example amoeba yeast hydra or even if you talk about the plants so which should be produced asexually you will see that the organisms or the offsprings which are being produced are almost identical to the parents because the changes or the variations are very less but in case of sexual reproduction that is not the case we see a considerable amount of changes which are often called as variations and that that is what i was talking about right now these variations again can get can retain for the next generation for example let us consider this couple so if you look at this couple both of them have got black eyes 
Now let us suppose the kid who is born has got blue eyes. Now what happens? Now this kid will again grow to become mature and he'll get married. Now when the kid gets married, he also is now he is now playing the role of a parent. Now he has blue eyes. So there are quite chance there are, there is a fair amount of chance that the blue eyes might be transmitted to the next generation. So basically, if you compare with uh, if you now talk about these this couple, they did not have blue eyes, but somehow their grandchildren got blue eyes, right? So that means that sometimes there are variations which get retained over a longer period of time. Now, which variations are good and will be retained, that again depends upon artificial selection, and that is how desirable characters can be reproduced. Now, th this is about heredity. So, I, I hope you understood that what are we going to talk about here, right? So, in this lesson, we will focus on inheritance of genes. That is the traits which happen due to inheritance of genes. Now, the main question that will be answered is how this inheritance occurs, how this passage of traits actually takes place. And once we are clear with the concept of inheritance, then we will also talk about variation. Now, in very olden days, the ancient people like the farmers and all, they also knew about uh, the process of crossbreeding. That is why you would have seen that they used to breed different varieties of plants together so that so as to get some desired variety because they knew that sexual reproduction between two different varieties can actually give rise to some new variety right but they were not aware of the scientific basis of inheritance that how actually things are happening inside the body of the living organism how it is actually taking place inside so the underlying mechanism was not known to them and that is what we talk about in genetics so here we will discuss that part Thank you. Please visit www.examclear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.